All right, it's done. Woo. Hey guys, so um, I posted on Instagram a while back, uh, probably about two weeks a week, a week, two weeks ago, probably about a week ago, about a type of warehouse order I got, and um, I was thinking about doing an unboxing, I wasn't sure, and got some comments to uh, do one. So I'm gonna show you guys what that is. I don't really remember what all I bought. Uh, one thing I'll go ahead and show you though that was going to come with this order, either this order or, or maybe an um, order even earlier, um, but it got back ordered um, until recently and I just got it in the mail this week and that is a Live Target Threadfin Shad. Take that bad boy out. Doesn't that thing look awesome? I cannot wait to use that. <clears throat> So, might be testing that out this weekend, don't know yet, but uh, super excited to throw that. And uh, before we get into this, I'm going to show you guys a couple other things. Um, I got a suction cup for the truck, so I can put that up in the window when I'm trying to do like intros and outro outros after a day of fishing. And along with that, I got a little uh, skeleton GoPro case to use with it. Uh, that way I can pick up good audio uh, without the full case being on it. And another thing I got, uh, just for fun, because this was cheap, this is a 360 degree swivel uh, wrist strap for the GoPro. So I'm hoping to, uh, well, you get the idea. I'm hoping to get some cool shots with this, uh, maybe, you know, of casting or, or whatever. But uh, that should be pretty neat. But without further ado, uh, let's open this box, see what we got at Warehouse. Don't remember what I would do. I know I, I know I got some flipping baits in here, some strike king. I don't really remember what else I got though. So we got the live target, which we've already seen. <clears throat> we have our receipt and return label in case we don't want any of it or we need to send it back, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Let's see what we got here. Some big bite baits. Six inch shaking squirrel in bold chartreuse. Uh, those look pretty awesome, actually. Nice chartreuse tail. Uh, those look pretty good. Those look like they'll be really good um, to finesse fish, you know, on a shaky head or maybe a drop shot. Um, or maybe even weightless, just on a uh, offset hook. We'll see if those look good. Oh, yeah, I needed some of these. Some uh, Super Salt Plus Salty Super Fluke from Zoom. Awesome bait right there. I've been out of these for a while. Um, and kind of just making do with ones that were tore and broke. So I finally got another pack of those. Can't go wrong, especially fall. This is a great bait. Um, especially right now here in Texas, the weather is so bizarre. It's hot, cold, hot, cold. And uh, sometimes that can put a lot of pressure on the fish and have a bite real subtle and something that uh, generates a really strong reaction bite like a fluke um is a good bait to use so excited about those what else do we have here so we have another big bite baits um these are the same same worm the six inch shaking squirrel and this is crete's magic i actually think these are jeff crete's design uh these worms so got those there so those look those are good as well what else do we have here? Some line. Boy, I wish I remembered I ordered this before I spooled out my other reel, but just some 14 pound trilene, um, low vis green. This is mono, so that should be good. I like fluoro too, but fluoro is really expensive, so I don't really buy that too often. Um, but yeah. And then, are these all the same? Yes. Okay, on to the good stuff. Oh, wait, sorry, before we get to those. One more bag of uh, Zoom Super Flukes in the Sexy Shack color. Those look, those look pretty dang good if I do say so myself. Cool, so two bags of flukes. Okay, <clears throat> so now onto the good stuff. So if you watch my most recent video, um, flipping out of my, uh, my kayak, this bait was on fire that day. They were just killing it, they were hammering it. And unfortunately I only have one pack uh, these were a new bait for me to try, and um, 
they were just they were tearing them up and uh the blue craw which is this one here it's uh kind of a, it almost like a almost like a green pumpkin with a little bit of blue in it it's probably hard to see on the camera but um yeah great great looking bait and uh it por performed really well i really like rage tail um baits i love the scent they produce fish they catch fish i've always had good luck with them the only downside um, for many of you who've probably fished them, they're not real hardy, so a good sized bass, you may go through a bait of bass. Um, because, at least in my experience, they, they, they tear pretty easy, but to me they're worth the money because they catch fish. So, and after going through a, pretty much a full pack that day out on the water, um, I got on Tackle Warehouse and these were actually on sale for two something. So I picked up a few bags. So we've got the Blue Craw. Um, I think I got... Yeah, two, two bags of the Blue Craw because those produced so well last time I was out there. We've got a one Watermelon Red Flake, one KVD Magic. This is a little bit uh, lighter green with uh, some blue flake in it. Those look pretty good as well. And then last but not least, can't go wrong, black and blue for those days when that water is just a little, little off color, a little muddy, a little murky. But yeah, those look good. So anyway, just want to do a quick unboxing to show you guys some of the new GoPro gear. Uh, hopefully we're going to be testing out this weekend. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for your views. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing. And stay tuned for more. Bye, Bass King. Signing off. That was, that was a bad idea. There's a lit candle right there. There's soap right there. There's these little shiny trees. That was a bad idea.